Hassan and Ali figure out about King Hetho's disease and start working on the potion to use it as their bargaining chip against King Hetho. At the same time, Alpha and Beta learn three shocking things about Hetho and the two guards who are accompanying him. Worried, they rush back to Porgyville. Alpha and Beta try to make it to Porgyville as fast as they can in order to protect Pine from the devious plans that King Hetho has for her. He wants to kidnap and then force her to make him the healing potion for his disease. It was rare and only a handful of sorcerers has the skill to make it. Any miscalculations in the ingredients will cause his death, a two-edged sword really. The same thing was going through Hetho's mind as well while he was on his way to Porkyville. He was worried that if he forces Pine to create the medicine, it might just be the death of him. He had thought of another plan on his way to Porkyville. It wasn't so much as his idea as it was of his two guards, the finest swordsmen in the gladiator. They persuaded him to think of his sons who are quite honestly not mature enough to manage themselves, let alone an entire kingdom. Faced with this harsh reality, he unwillingly agreed to go with the new plan. With Pan and Ollie working hard to prepare the potion for Hetho and realized that it would be ready in about an hour, things seem to be going according to some mysterious plan that's in favor of Hethonia. Alpha and Beta reach Porgyville and go straight to King Ping. They then tell him about everything that they had learned. King Ping decides to face King Hetho with the truth. He's had it with the people meddling with the peace of his kingdom. He knew that Cat and Vike had already moved the forces for a fight and he was ready for one too. Based on the warning from Alpha and Beta, Cat sends 10 strong armed men to protect Han and Ali. King Ping heads to King Hetho to face him. How do you think this confrontation will go? Let's find out next week. Till then, stay on some.